Hey guys, welcome back and as promised, I'm going to be starting a tutorial series. This is the first part and I'm going to be using Fire Alpaca for the tutorials. I'm going to give you all three reasons why I prefer Fire Alpaca over Photoshop. Number one, it's free. Photoshop is not. It's pretty expensive. Number two, Photoshop has so many features that you don't need while drawing. While Fire Alpaca has exactly uh, the amount of tools you need. And thirdly, Photoshop is a large program and drains your battery and takes up a lot of space in your computer. Whereas Fire Alpaca is a tiny file. So yeah. Now, um, if you don't know how to download Fire Alpaca, I have put the link in the description box below. You just have to tap on the link and choose which version of the, uh, of the software you want, whether the 64-bit or the 32-bit, whichever is compatible with your computer. You download that and when you install it um, and open it, this is what you're going to see. As you can see, you're going to first uh, find this advertisement here and it's pretty normal for free softwares to have advertisements all you got to do is press ok or this cross button and this will just disappear now what you see is the user interface and this is where you're going to be drawing and doing everything that you need in this video we are going to be discussing only the drawing tools the first thing you got to do when you open up is you just have to get rid of some of the windows that you don't need you can move around these windows as you can see um, you don't need all of these things so I'm gonna get rid of some of them for example this brush size thing I don't need this because here there's an, another brush size uh, box so I'm gonna get rid of this there's a reference box where you can place pictures that you are uh, using as reference while drawing I don't need that right now I'm gonna get rid of it a palette is when you choose certain colors that you want to put um, in this box and use only those colors for your drawing I don't need this either for the basics so yeah let's discuss the basics first up how are you gonna get uh, a place to draw that is your um, what can I say your canvas you gotta have to click on file and new now there are many sizes you could go with like a2 a3 a4 all the paper sizes you need postcards and uh, line sticker sizes and everything um, this uh, fire alpaca software is mainly used for manga drawings and comics so there's an all, all also there's an option of comics and animation yes you can animate in this software as well but we're not going to talk about that let's just go to the standard section you can choose whatever size you want uh, like a custom size too but let's just go with a4 for the sake of convenience shall we um, yeah so this is uh, the A4 size um, paper and now uh, let's talk about the drawing tools um, first up we have the brush this is the uh, these are the tools by the way guys Th these are the tools like you can uh, put it horizontally or vertically I love to put it vertically so let's just put it like that the first one is the brush okay so of course it's a brush so you tap on it and you just use it like a brush that's not a problem at all you can easily guess what a brush does uh, now the special thing is that here we have brush preview brush control and brush um, in the section where you have you can choose brush there are multiple brushes available in fire alpaca that you can use for example uh, it's common sense that i have to choose a color from here um, let's choose purple like a bright purple now let's choose a random brush like let's choose this um, flat brush okay uh, now in the brush control section you can see that you can increase the size or decrease the size of the brush uh, and it will appear in this box how the brush looks um, there are also options to increase the opacity of the brush that is uh, if it's going to be opaque or transparent for example, if I reduce the opacity, look how light the brush becomes and if I, if I increase the opacity, it will become darker. Uh, so let's just uh, draw a stroke. So as you can see, um, it's a flat brush and it has this flat pattern on it. And if I reduce the opacity, then you can see that it it's, it's much, much lighter now. It's lighter. If I reduce the opacity more, it's almost like it's, it, it almost disappears, okay? So, there's also uh, 
these other options that are only available for certain brushes for example if i choose the pen brush this is not available but if i choose the um where is it the flat brush back again then it is um it is only available for some special brushes Bec uh, because these are features only that can be only changed in these special br brushes for example there's brush spacing if i increase the spacing you can see that between each stroke there's a space before there was no space but now there is if i reduce it there is no space again um there is also the option of uh, rotating along uh, which is like if you want your brush to rotate or not whether you want it to rotate or not with the strokes if i do this uh, if i turn it off then the brush won't rotate and it would look really ugly to be honest that's why i keep it on because that way it looks smoother as you can see this one is this one is much much smoother than this one there is other option for rotating angle if you want to change the angle of rotation of the brush now it's like it's a another pattern brush it changes its style totally so there are uh, many options like that fire alpaca has some uh, crazy amazing brushes too which are really helpful for artists i'm going to show you guys some examples like uh, in the brush section there is this leaf brush where if i choose green cuz leaves are green um see leaves appear so it's very easy to draw vines and stuff like that um there is a flower brush let's go with red um and yeah these are flowers you can change their size with this uh with this as i said and you can change their scatter strength which means uh, how much flowers would appear in one area if i increase the sc scatter strength, just look at this so many flowers <laughs> if i if i put it to like 40 50 uh, then this is like this but if i reduce it to like uh, 19 or something i think this is perfect some flowers yay um uh, so yeah these are the brushes and there's a there's an amazing feature in fire alpaca where you can add brush which means you can make a custom brush and add it to your brush collection so i have only one custom brush which i need which is this brush um it, it is a textured brush which helps me a lot in shading and highlighting stuff you you might have seen me use this in my uh, drawings i use this brush a lot it's my go to brush um this brush also has an option of color jitter and hue jitter which means i can make this brush uh, really colorful like this see if i zoom in you can see that different colors appear in this brush um if i add hue jitter then so many hues appear in this brush yeah so it's kind of magical that certain brushes have certain interesting features that you can use um so this is the brush now as you can see that uh, there are many different types of brushes available um there is also an option of using rulers um as we use rulers for our uh, for making straight lines or compasses for circles and stuff like that well digital art also has that so when i choose brush you can see that this is an like an option snap there's a snap so what is a snap the first one is a horizontal snap i don't know i don't know whether you can see it or not but there are horizontal lines you can choose the angle uh if if you want to change the angle of the lines you can press on this round button and see how you can change the angle so i'm going to put this angle now no matter how i draw the lines are going to be parallel see it's so geometrical uh it's perfect just like that there's a grid option with which i can draw grids uh, there's an another snap this one this one is uh when you have to uh draw two non parallel lines you can use this one um there is also one for perspective drawings like you can place it like this and the lines would come like this like rays of sun um then there is also a circular snap which will help you draw circles so uh i messed up because i wasn't going slow enough but if you go slow enough the circles are going to be perfect then there is this curve option where you can uh make curvy lines and when you double tap you can just uh do double click i'm sorry you can just draw over it 
um, and to change the line you just press on that circle button and you can draw another line just like that so these are these are snaps which actually work like just like rulers there's also this one um, this is uh, something uh, complicated let's just save this for later this is 3d perspective snap we'll come to that later uh, in another video so these are the snaps um, other than the snaps there is also this uh, this option where you can use uh, what you want to draw if you want to draw freehand you can draw freehand if you want to draw lines you can draw lines if you want to draw polyline which is um, like a few lines at once you can um, then there's a there's an option for a polygon and a rectangle or an ellipse or uh, and lastly a curve that you can draw so basically uh, the snaps and this one is pretty similar in use and i don't mostly use those like the uh, second option i prefer using snaps it's quicker and easier um since we're talking about brush let's not forget the stabilizer you might have noticed that certain br uh, in certain brushes there's this option of stabilizer which, which says use global settings global settings is basically this one stabilizer global settings so what is a stabilizer now sometimes when you're working with a mouse uh, while drawing digitally what happens is the lines become really curvy like this 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 and they become ugly so what a stabilizer does is my stabilizer is so stabilization at, is at 15 but let's increase it to show you guys what happens when I'm drawing with such a high stabilizer look my cursor is ahead of the line that is being drawn let's increase it a little more see the line comes behind so this gives me time to properly plan what I'm gonna draw properly do my strokes um, I like to keep it at 15 while using my Wacom tablet but if you're using a mouse I think uh, you would prefer if it's at 20 25 or 30 um, it's up to you you just uh, experiment with the this option and see what happens um, up next uh, I'm, I just gonna I just want to tell you guys that beside each brush there's a setting symbol if you tap on it you can change the brush settings uh, in more detail uh, there's also an option of blending how you want a brush to blend with everything else um, it's uh, more complicated which we will later come to um, I want to talk about my favorite brush which has been recently uh, given in the software uh, I just can't help talking about it so here are two colors that I'm using now there's this mix brush this is this brush is pretty new this wasn't here before so what it does is it helps you blend colors just look at that it, it's a beautiful very useful useful and beautiful brush which helps you blend colors um, so I have been using this this brush a lot uh, before that there was no option to blend uh, automatically on Fire Alpaca you had to blend manually but now you can mix colors so yeah you're welcome <laughs> um, so uh, now we have talked about the brush um, let's talk about uh, the eraser um, the eraser is exactly what it sounds like it's an eraser you draw something you draw something and the eraser helps you erase it so you can you have options of eraser uh, many options of erasers like there are soft edged erasers which give you this blurry airbrush effect there are hard edged eraser, erasers which give you this uh, straight cut effect um, and you can also choose a brush eraser for example let's just uh, say that the screen is blue okay and I want to erase certain areas uh, in using the leaf brush in leaf shapes so what I have to do is choose the brush that I want and then go to the color section and here instead of choosing a color I have to choose this transparent box and this transparent box is basically an eraser so now if I draw the leaves they'll erase the background so yeah uh, this is how you can use any any uh, eraser that you want um, for example this, this arrow brush can also be an eraser yeah this star brush 
this star brush can also be an eraser everybody's an eraser if they want um, I mostly prefer using the normal eraser um, because it's quick simple and easy and with that uh, I have discussed erasers and uh, brushes oh and by the way you can change eraser settings as well just like brushes erasers, erasers are basically brushes which help colors disappear they're like anti brushes oh my god what is this a TED talk I'm sorry I'll stop um, so in the color picker I just want to discuss the color picker in a little bit more detail so here's the color color picker um, you can change the appearance of it by going to view no not view sorry by going to color and there's an option for color bar or color wheel I prefer color wheel because it helps you um, like it shows you the color wheel basically so you know which color complements which color easily um, you can choose up to two colors at once you can choose this this uh, for example if I choose yellow and I need uh, red so I just tap on this these two to exchange the colors I want to draw with yellow then I'll draw with yellow I want to change it to red I'll tap and change it to red so it's a quick easy quick and easy method of selection oh that looks like a mustard and ketchup hot dog <laughs> anyway um, so that's the color option it's as simple as that nothing complicated um, we have also discussed the eraser and yeah lastly we have this pixel brush um, this is actually called the dot tool um, so basically a pixel brush is like um, it draws on each and every pixel so I have to zoom it to show you guys oh by the way the zoom button is here in the navigator you zoom out or zoom in um, so if you use a pixel brush it's so thin it's so small um, it's only for pixel art if you don't know what pixel art is I suggest you look it up it's basically art where um, like a very tiny canvas is used um, and uh, drawings are made in very tiny sizes like this uh, you might have seen this in the very famous game Undertale um, it's amazing I love Undertale so much um, anyway it's, it's just a pixel brush it draws in small pixels like really small and the maximum size is this and the minimum size is like I think still this yeah <laughs> it draws in only one size that and that is one pixel um, so that's it um, so we discussed uh, the tools that we use for uh, drawing uh, in this and by the way guys how to save a drawing what I'm gonna do is go to file and you can save or save as uh, if you save it, it's going to save as a Fire Alpaca MDP that can only be opened on Fire Alpaca. You don't want that if you want to if you want to upload a picture. What you have to do is save as and let's give it a name. Let's give it, um, what should I call it? Uh, ice cream. Ice cream. And you have the option to save it as Fire Alpaca MDP. In case you're planning on uh, up, like uh, updating this drawing, like... Uh, finishing it or something like adding colors or something then you can choose this one otherwise you can save it as png or jpg i prefer png because the quality remains good um yeah and you can just i for now i'm gonna save it as a fire alpaca mdp because just I, I just wanna and you save it you can close this drawing here as you can see this is a window you just go and close it you can open it again by pressing open and looking up the file i'll just open it from open recent pictures and yeah this is here it is and i can work on it i can also open other recent pictures for open recent file i was working on this uh, portrait of erin yeager um and now both the files are open as you can see um, yeah so this is how you do it um, if you bring any kind of change to your uh, drawing uh, and don't save and try to leave it will give you the option to save it and you can just press save and it will be saved so that's all for today um, I hope this video helps if uh, you guys have you still have any kind of confusion related to everything that I have discussed today you can ask me in the comments and I'll read them and I'll obviously clarify your doubts and don't worry 
the other tools are going to be discussed in the next video till then take care bye